Hi, this is John Darkarps, and you're watching Anatomy of a Track. We take an in-depth, transparent look at processes and production in these videos to accompany a track's release. Please support original, independent content and buy direct from the artist at darkarps.com or eastvendigital.com. Because A, if you do, you'll be getting a shitload more content, such as this video, audio and MIDI stems, synth patches, samples, and more. Let me help you be a better DJ slash producer. And B, revenue distribution to artists through the sale or streaming of digital content, especially music, is a fucking joke. So, in other words, please buy, and please buy local. This track is called Chatter, and it's coming out on East Van Digital in January 2015. Thanks for listening. Sometimes finding that initial spark of inspiration can be the trickiest part of the process, so I thought it would be fun to go back to the earliest version of the production and have a look at the central melodic theme, really the first idea that I came up with that provided the backbone um, or the inspiration, the, the launch board for the rest of the ideas that came with the track. So uh, we're just going to listen to it on its own. So I'm going to quickly show you how I arrived at this sound. It all started from an instrument I have had available to me for a little while, but I've never really used very much. It's called Prism, and it's a physical modeling synth for Reactor, which comes bundled with Complete. I thought I'd play around with some presets and see if I could find something that would inspire me. This instrument sound reminds me quite a lot of Logic Sculpture Synth. They're both physical modeling synths, so if you don't have Prism, you can try Logic Sculpture, or there's actually a free version of Prism called MicroPrism, which you can get from the Native Instruments website. So now I'm just quickly scrolling through some presets to see if I can find a sound I like. So I'm just really hitting random keys on my MIDI keyboard right now and clicking through the presets here to see if something sticks. Once I found a sound, this sound called Liquid Plate, that really inspired me, the melody actually came very easily. Obviously, when I first wrote this melody, there were no other parts in the production. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I'll just have to kind of record over the existing part or on a new channel. Hit R to enter record mode, back up a few bars, start playback. Hit S to enter solo mode so no other regions play. I'm going to engage the metronome with K. So now we can just record onto just a click. Okay, so um, basically that's all I need, and I'm just going to take the second half of that recording and discard the first, because that has all the notes that I'm going to need. And uh, if we just dive in here, I'm going to quantize them, and now I'm just going to duplicate that pattern four times, or three times, and select them all, and Command J to merge them to one region. Uh, P key for the piano roll. And we play it back and we can hear that we have all the notes, and I just want to remove the ones that I don't want. So I'm selecting them and hitting mute. And I've just got an A, B, A, C pattern going on with the melodic content. And shift space to play from the beginning of the selected region. And we are hearing... Something that sounds pretty similar to the final melody that I had. Now that I've done that, I can rename it T and then 4 for the rename tool. Just call it Beauty, which it was called before. 
And now armed with that MIDI region, I can think about creating a complementary layer for the melody. The prism sound is bright and sparkly, but doesn't stand up on its own. It lacks warmth. It lacks energy in the lower midrange. The two sounds together will give us a melody that is full spectrum, and we can EQ out what we don't want later. <laughs> 